Hey, hi. Hi, dear friends. Hope you all are doing great and um, uh, taking care of yourself and uh, managing your week edge. Uh, so today I thought of uh, sharing um, um, some knowledge or some information from my experience uh, when it comes to the methods of treatment um, available for week edge. As you all know that uh, general methods of uh, treatments are like we have... Uh, uh, you know allopathy we have uh, homeopathy and also we have ayurveda so in this video we will analyze um, which treatment is good and ideal for vkh patients um okay let's go in the reverse order as uh, so i'll talk about the worst one first um, in that way uh, let me pick um, homeopathy uh, in my opinion homeopathy um, is not a good idea or um, in homeopathy i don't think there is a, a successful medicine available for weak age right this happens this kind of uh, thoughts come into our mind when we um, when we are diagnosed with weak age and then we pursue our med uh, medication um, you might have the second thoughts that do i really need to eat all these medicines and steroids and stuff why don't i try homeopathy mm, why don't i try ayurveda right i mean it's, it's quite normal this happened to me also um uh, but let me talk about um uh, coming back to um homeopathy again um you know uh, in my opinion homeopathy uh, is not the right method of treatment when it comes to weak edge um why because you know homeopathy actually uh, the medications of homeopathy uh, in fact triggers your body's natural defenses. So when I say natural defense, I'm talking about the immunity, right? Uh, so usually in homeopathy, they use a substance um, that actually causes symptoms of a disease in a healthy person. Uh, and they believe that uh, it would cure uh, similar symptoms in a sick person. So the concept is like, um, like cures like, uh, which means, um, uh, you know, um, there's another saying also in Malayalam, uh, which says that, you know, Ushnam Ushnena Shanti. <laughs> and it's a little complex, but it means that something is burning, right? It's burning uh, and it's creating a problem. You burn it completely so that it turns into ashes. So that is a concept uh, used by homeopathy here. So, um, so a disease like VKH, which is an autoimmune disease, as you all know that, you know, autoimmune diseases are, um, um, you know, diseases when your immune system actually attacks your healthy cells. All right. So, um, so in homeopathy, they would, I don't know, I'm actually confused in homeopathy, what exactly they can do against uh, an autoimmune disease. So there, there are, your immune system itself is attacking your healthy cells. So what external substance can they you know uh, put into your body so that it cures um, your healthy cells it's, it's highly impossible so in my opinion homeopathy is not the right medication or in homeopathy they actually do not have a medication for vkh you can actually check it out um, uh, i'm not sure at least in india we do not have any uh, successful medication for vkh and one more thing i have noticed is that when i have uh, when I got my very first attack, I did consume some uh, medication for uh, from homeopathy uh, doctor, from a homeopathy doctor, but actually that was for, uh, you know, dandruff. Um, I'm not sure if that has got a direct relationship of, uh, um, you know, um, this VKH attack in me. I'm not really sure about that. Um, but also I recollect that the second time when it repeated, also, I did consult an, another homeopathic doctor um, that was for, um, I think, again, for da dandruff again. So, so both the times, um, I remember before getting a weak edge, I did consume some homeopathic medicine. Um, so, I kind of, uh, you know, uh, kind of, I feel that, uh, in fact, I'm now really scared to take any homeopathic medicine. I think that, you know, I have this autoimmune disease as I shouldn't be, you know, confusing my body further. That's my opinion on homeopathy. 
um and the third thing is that third time also uh, you know is uh, as as i have mentioned several times in my videos i also had this third recurrence of vkh but at the time i did not consume any vkh medicine as such sorry um the homeopathic medicine as such but um it did just happen and the third time it was on my ears not on my eyes so the first two times i have uh, taken some uh, homeopathic medis medication not for vkh for for dandruff is when actually a vkh triggered um is what is my belief i i still don't know if that is true or not but um, if i could you know i was just started um, recollecting and relating what are the things which i have done a week or day before this vkh attacks so this is one of the thing i have done so um so when it comes to homeopathy it's a big no <laughs> uh and the second thing is ayurveda again ayurveda is one of the best um, you know uh, what do you call it the treatment structure or treatment method i would say but however they also do not have a um uh, medic medicine which is uh, which can successfully cure vkh in anyone so uh, but however uh, you can mildly use ayurveda okay uh, when i say mildly use ayurveda is um, suppose if you want to apply some oil on your body ayurvedic oils um or um, uh, what do you call it some um, pain relief balm ayurvedic balms those things are fine but i would highly recommend you do not consume any uh, tablets or um, uh, you know the medicines uh, from ayurveda when you are during your treatment uh, for vkh i kind of feel it's another act of confusing your body um with multiple information uh and again uh, the last thing and the best one is the allopathic medication um because they uh, they treat you with steroids of course it has uh, side effects but you know when you get a vkh attack the 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 foremost priority is to get back your vision or your uh, hearing ability so we are not uh, um so the more uh, uh you know the, the longer it takes uh, to cure the more damages it ha makes to your uh, cells uh, so our intention should be to cure as soon as possible and um, cure uh, get out of vkh as soon as possible and then eventually um if you want to eat um, uh, some ayurvedic medicines uh, just for your general health like chicken prash and all that it's 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 okay it's good um but then uh, you know during the your treatment time i highly recommend you do not you know, use ayurvedic or um, homeopathy please uh, even after the treatment i would say please do not use homeopathy um it's a way of confusing your body but ayurveda is okay do you, after your treatment of course if you have if you're getting some other disease like say fever or um, something body pain or any other regular um lifestyle issues you can consume ayurveda when you are cured with vkh All right so that is my thought and um, my opinion when it comes to different methods of um, treatment for vkh so allopathy is the best uh, to conclude allopathy is the best and uh, it cures you fast of course with some side effects but if you take care all those side effects are reversible um and uh, stay focused and uh, take your treatment seriously and get cured as soon as possible good luck thank you